If you give up now, what was everything else for? Well, say goodbye to Indiana and hello to Ohio! Tuesday morning. Actually, I think it's Tuesday afternoon. Riding through Ohio. I love Ohio. You know, the farther we headed east, I thought, oh, we're going to head into a lot more densely populated states and the traffic will be horrible and things like that. But I don't know if you can tell, but this is really nice. And just when you thought life couldn't get any better, you come across things like this. Nice little roadside parks. But the traffic has been really easy, really light. Oh, about 35 miles ago, we stayed in a, in a town, I know I'm gonna pronounce it wrong, but the first time I saw it, I thought it was called Insomnia. <laughs> and we found a church, really nice people there. They let us park our bus by their fishing pond and we, so we got a great night's sleep got up and started pedaling I'm heading towards the town of Bell Fountain I thought it was pronounced Bell Fontaine but they they let me know that it's pronounced Bell Fountain and up ahead oh. and so I'm hoping to be able to make some distance today heading down highway 47 heading east across Ohio Lots of beautiful homes, lots of grass. People like mowing their lawns here. Seems like everybody has a really nice lawnmower. They need one because some of their lawns are pretty good sized. Lord bless Ohio. Lord, we know you love Ohio. Father, would you pour out your spirit in this state in a mighty way? Lord, that we would see hundreds of thousands of people filling the churches because they're hungry for more of you. Thank you, Lord.
Hey everybody, I am somewhere here in Ohio. Maplewood, Ohio. <laughs> Maplewood, Ohio. I think, is it uh, Bell Fountain? Yeah, I'm going to Bell Fountain. Uh, we're, we're heading, I'm heading towards Bell Fountain this afternoon. And uh, I met Gary out here just mowing his lawn and I stopped him and I said, hey, um, what is God doing in Ohio? Okay, um, well, we're, we're more on the conservative side, but we do have some uh, liberals. But uh, we're trending towards more conservative and more pro-life. So we we uh, we support Donald Trump. Everybody, I mean, Mike, you might have seen all the all the Donald Trump signs out here. I've seen a million of them. Yeah, very few very few Biden signs. So, but in Ohio, we're we just uh, kind of conservative, and uh, here here in this part, anyhow, uh -huh. as far as Cincinnati and, and Cleveland, I don't know. There's a few riots going on in, in Cincinnati and mm. in, in, in Cleveland, but uh, for the most part, we're pretty pretty quiet, pretty peaceful. What's the spiritual climate in this area? Well, the spiritual climate is somewhat lax, I have to say. We're, we're not as spiritual as we were uh, 30 years ago. Mm. Yeah. Uh, our attendance in church is, is probably down, and people, you know, with the coronavirus and stuff, you know they they tend to stay away they, i mean they have that choice to stay away so they they do and i i don't know if those people will come back or not so, you know it, it all gets down to the individual you know we got it the yeah, individual yeah. has to change his life yeah and so what's god doing in this county i mean he's working on me <laughs> <laughs> he's working on me too I, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely a work in progress yeah so but that you know that's uh we are trending, like I said, in 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 Ohio, we are trending more uh, pro-life, so so that's a good thing, I guess. And uh, other than that, I you know, um, I don't know. I mean, far you know, I, you know, <laughs> I I really don't uh, you know pay much attention to you know really what's going you know as long as it well I guess I get down to it as long as it doesn't affect me I don't much mm. pay attention to everything but uh and, and maybe that's the selfish thing to do but well uh, yeah and you know the way i see it is uh, i know where i'm going yeah i i have a relationship with christ and and it's a growing one and uh, uh when this life is over i know where i'm going to be uh but that car that just went by i don't know about him yeah and so um life's really short eternity it's permanent it's permanent and, and heaven and hell are realities. That is reality. And so, uh, if that doesn't shake us up, yeah. we don't understand. And uh, I think the reason we're on this earth is to be a light to people who don't know. Yeah. And uh, you know, the Bible does say, "Redeem the time." Yeah. And so we need to be involved in politics, in our school board, in our church, in our community, just to be a light and uh, yeah. stand up for righteousness and and the Scripture. I'm believing God for a mighty outpouring of His Spirit. Uh, all the way across this country. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, that's what I'm doing today is I'm bicycling across. I'm just praying. <laughs> so I, uh, I I saw Gary out here. He was uh, he was mowing his lawn, and I, I I said nice lawn, and he shut his lawn more off. He goes what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I am a little hard hearing, so. You know. I didn't mean to make you stop working. Looks like you, you look you have a beautiful lawn actually, and. Uh, are you going to mow all this with this mower? No, no, I just mow what's been mowed before. Yeah. <laughs> so I try to I try to add a little beauty to the countryside. Um, yeah. I like to show there's my neighbor's beans over there. Uh -huh. So I like to show them off a little bit. He's got a nice crop of beans over there. Well, well, uh, I one thing I notice about here, uh, everybody cares about their neighborhood. They yeah. they care about their property and um, yeah. Uh, they I I haven't seen I have never seen so many manicured lawns in my life <laughs> it's beautiful out here well we we usually have the right weather to do all that stuff so yeah, yeah we get rain right, right along and, and god's blessed us um um uh, god's blessed us with uh rain this in this in this spot right here i raised a bunch of tomatoes up there and i always have more than i have enough <laughs> so i stick them out at the end of the road here and Lo and behold, they disappear. They, uh, I've never wait. I've never wasted them. You know, <laughs> well, hey. they, yeah. So I was, right. yeah. Every year I stick out. All right. Well, how far is it to to Bell Fountain? Eight miles. Oh, I'm almost there. Gary, God well, bless you. Yeah. Enjoy talking with you today. Mike on a bike. And uh, we'll we'll uh, see you down the road. Yep.
Hey everybody, it's been a really good day. We are in a little town called West Mansfield. A happy Wednesday morning from West Mansfield, Ohio. Ohio. I'm not sure where Mansfield is, but this is the West one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful town. We uh, met some really nice people here last night, and the United Methodist Church let us sleep in their parking lot. We got to park the bus at the church. So thank you, friends. Yeah, <laughs> and um, I. The, the door was open, it was propped open, there were lights on. I walk into the church, I, I walked in on a board meeting. I felt so bad interrupting their business, but um, they, were, they were very gracious, very nice, uh, warm, friendly folks. Uh, everybody is in this town. And um, this is where we're gonna be starting our ride today. And uh, we praise the Lord for a beautiful sunny day, a slight tailwind, which is gonna be huge and uh, God's blessing and hand upon us. And I'm just praying for a mighty outpouring, a spiritual blessing everywhere we go, everybody we meet. Yes. Well, I wanna share about behind us, um, beautiful playground. And last night it was teeming with children. I've, this is the first park or playground that wasn't a school during our entire ride where I saw a lot of kids playing and playing together. Um, so I got to pass out a whole bunch of Power Kid comic books last night, <laughs> and the kids are so nice here. So it was really fun. Beautiful town. Just a nice town. Yeah. So let's see where the road takes us. Hey, happy Wednesday, I think. We are in Mount Vernon, Ohio. The traffic's kind of forced me on the sidewalk. <laughs> it's been a good day. I've been so busy riding. I didn't I didn't really pull the camera out much today. About 65 miles so far today. The traffic's been kind of heavy and really no shoulder to speak of, which hasn't lent itself for videotaping, but it's been a good day. 65 miles isn't that bad. Maybe I'll go a few more.
You know what would be really good right now? A big hamburger and, and some iced tea. Well, we made it to Mount Vernon, Ohio, and found a Walmart. I love Walmarts. We go inside, ask them if we can park in their parking lot, and uh, they said we can. Um, I know some Walmarts don't, but I've never had a Walmart tell me no. So it's a great place to spend the night, and uh, um, it's free and so what is not to love about that <laughs> so um, I think we're gonna go inside find something to eat kick back put some ice on these knees and um, uh, 64 65 miles today which isn't too bad um, it was a good day a lot of traffic windy up and down roads with no shoulder a little bit nerve-wracking a few times when those big semi trucks decide to pass you <laughs> uh, ran me off the road a couple of times but uh, we did well Hey, good, happy Thursday morning to you here in Ohio. And I don't know if uh, maybe many will understand this, but this morning as I get up, there's such a heaviness. There's such a heaviness in my heart today. Um, the, the heaviness is there because uh, I believe God is wanting to stir. God is wanting to move in our land. And... Uh, many people that I, we've met it's like their their hearts are, are closed off their 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 eyes are are closed they're not seen and uh, our hearts desire and prayer is that the lid will come ripped off and people will see things the way they really are and that there would be a great awakening across our country and uh, that's what we're believing God for I, I believe we're gonna see it the country that we live in today this wonderful United States of America I believe we're on a knife's edge and we're gonna either go to the left or we're gonna go to the right I don't think we can stay where we are we're either gonna become a socialistic unchristian country or we're gonna allow the Spirit of God to do something amazing a, a great awakening in our land I don't think we can stay where we are and just keep doing things the way we've done I believe if there was ever a time <laughs> For the child of God to stand up and, and be counted for the cause of Christ. Live out what you really, really believe. It's today. Because it's so important. You know, if you are a child of God, we hold the key. We hold the key to this, this country. You've heard me say it many times. God says, if my people who are called by my name, that's the child of God. It's not the Republicans, it's not the Democrats, it's not society, it's not school boards. It's men and women of God who love Jesus more than anything in this whole wide world who are willing to stand up and say, count me in, count me in. Let's do that. Hey, good morning, everybody. We are in um, Mount Vernon, uh, Ohio, and I'm getting ready to start the day, and I met Roy. And uh, Roy said, hey, can I have a word of prayer with you before you go? And I thought, absolutely. I appreciate the call. We thank the Lord for this day. Thank you for your goodness to us. And Lord, our brother here, we pray that you would give him safe traveling mercy to be with his wife, Lord, as you do. We ask that you would just guide your lives and help us, Lord, and turn America back to you, yes. we pray. Our yes, Lord. precious, wonderful man. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So, Roy, what what is uh, what's God doing in your life? Well, He's uh, taking care of my kids and yeah. stuff. And I got a grandkid who's on drugs, real bad, and right now he's doing great. So, uh, 
hope that's an answer to prayer. I hope Amen. we don't go back in. Amen. You know, and what's your what's your son's name? Grandson. My grandson. grandson. Yeah, Nick. Nick. Uh, so let's remember Nick in prayer that yeah. God would just do a mighty work in this young man's life. Yeah. About uh, nine miles into the ride this morning, beautiful scenery. I don't know if you can tell from behind me, but uh, there's a lot of ups and downs and switchbacks and uh, quite a bit of traffic. But not near as much as there was a couple of hours ago. This road has a lot of ups and downs where you can't see over the rise around the next corner. And the shoulder of the road that I can ride on sometimes is a foot and a half and sometimes it's not even there. Sometimes this white line is actually in, in the gravel. <laughs> no white line at all. And so I waited around another hour just to let morning traffic kind of get through before uh, I started my, my trek across this road. But as you can tell, Ohio is an absolutely beautiful state. I've never been in this part of the country, never been in this part of Ohio. Um, and just, just beautiful. Lord bless Ohio. Bless everybody in it. Lord, may your will be done and may your word be proclaimed to everybody in the state. And uh, Lord, let a, a mighty revival, a mighty wind of the spirit of the Lord sweep across this state. And we give you praise for that today. In Jesus' name. It comes in handy when there's a wide spot every once in a while. You never know when a semi is going to come up on you. Hey everybody, it has been a very eventful day. I'm about two miles from Koshokton. Ohio, I think that's how you say it, Koshokton, um, had a wonderful uh, lunchtime, met a young young man named John um, in an Amish community, <laughs> he was riding his bike and his bike was way nicer than mine, 21 year old young man. He said, hey, if you ever, if you ever do this again, uh, maybe I'll join you. And we prayed with him and prayed for his uh, friend who was in a, an accident and is in a coma in a hospital. We're praying for a total and complete recovery. We've met just so many wonderful people today. Not all of can get on uh, camera and interview, but... But God is good. Lord, we pray over the state of Ohio that your spirit, Lord, would reign supreme. And everything that is not of you, everything that is trying to tear down and destroy, Lord, we ask in the name of Jesus that you would just stop it and that you would just let the glory of God be revealed in this state at this time and that you would be glorified. Anybody is 
realize that I'm pronouncing your town wrong. That's not intentional. I love some of these names. It's just that sometimes if you're from out of town, it's a, diff it's a difficult thing to pronounce. that river. Hey, happy Saturday morning to you on the 26th of September. I am in uh, uh, eastern Ohio, just about 10 miles from uh, West Virginia, and I'll be going into that in a little bit. But what a fun ride. Um, the roads are so curvy. I don't know if you've picked up on that, but um, and a lot of up and downhill kind of makes a fun, challenging ride early in the morning. And so I'm really enjoying this, this ride um, through this state. Beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. I've never been in this part of Ohio and um, I didn't think it would look like this. So that's kind of cool. Lots of twists and turns. Just like life. You think you're going straight, you think you know where you're going, and then you hit a, a stretch where life just kind of takes you on a roller coaster ride, and it just seems like it takes more effort than you have to get around that next corner. And just when you think you're making it and you're around the, the next bend, you look up, oh, and there's a there's a, there's another steep incline. Colleen's in the bus navigating these hills and corners. I wonder how she's doing. <sighs> Gotta catch my breath. <sighs> Here we go.
I am uh, at the border of West Virginia in a town called Wheeling. I think I'm still on the Ohio side, but we may be changing our route. They're telling us that the route we want to take is not bike friendly at all. So uh, I called Colleen. She's actually up the road. She found a bicycle shop. I'm, uh, I'm waiting here at the U-Haul uh, place and they said that we could park here. But um, I was eating one of these uh, beef jerky chomps and uh, as they, uh, as you eat them, they have a message on the inside of the label. And uh, I want to read you what it says on the inside. It says, if you give up now, what was everything else for? 